Mining is the biggest contributor to Namibia's economy in terms of revenue. It accounts for 25% of the country's income. Its contribution to the gross domestic product 10.4% in 2009, 8.5% in 2010, 9.5% in 2011, 12.3% in 2012, 13.2% in 2013, 11.6% .6 in 2014 is also very important and makes it one of the largest economic sectors of the country. The majority of revenue 7.2% of GDP in 2011 comes from diamond mining. Topic. Legal framework Namibia's mining industry is regulated by the Diamond Act, 1999, the Minerals Prospecting and Mining Act, 1992, and the Minerals Development Fund of Namibia Act of 1996. The petroleum sector is governed by the Petroleum Exploration and Production Act, 1991, the Petroleum Taxation Act, 1991, the Petroleum Exploration and Production Amendment Act, 1993, the Petroleum Laws Amendment Act, 1998, the Model Petroleum Agreement, 1998, and the Petroleum Products and Energy Amendment Act, 2000. In 2006, the government confirmed a royalty schedule that originally had been introduced in 2004. A 3% royalty was levied on the market value of base, precious, and rare metals and non-nuclear mineral fuels. A 2% royalty was levied on industrial minerals and nuclear mineral fuels. A Pangelo Mining is a mining company owned by the government. It was founded in 2009 with the aim to govern the rights on six mineral resources that are deemed strategic for Namibia, and for which new exploration rights must be held by government. The six resources are, diamonds, gold, coal, uranium, copper, and rare earth minerals. Topic. Production In 2006, manganese, diamond, and fluorspar output increased by 158%, 24%, and 15%, respectively, compared with that of 2005, and copper, lead, wollastonite, and zinc posted significant production declines. The increase in manganese was attributable to the expansion of production at the reopened Purity Mine formerly the Ochesondu Mine. The decline in copper output could be attributed in part to instability during the transition of ownership of Ongapolo Mining and Processing Limited. Lead and zinc output declined in part because of a short strike by workers at the Roche Pinna mine. <laughs> <laughs> Employment Depending on economic up and down swings, mining provided for around 6,000 to 8,000 direct jobs between 2007 and 2014. The artisans for the industry are educated in the Namibian Institute of Mining and Technology in Arandus, Keetmanshoop, and Sumeb, as well as at University of Namibia UNAM's Faculty of Engineering and Information Technology in Ongwadeva. Namibia University of Science and Technology NUST's Faculty of Engineering in Vindhoek also provides mining education. Topic: <laughs> Structure of the mineral industry. The government encourages private sector exploration and development according to guidelines set out in its 2003 paper entitled The Mineral Policy of Namibia. The Ministry of Mines and Energy and its Diamond Affairs, Energy, and Mining Directorates regulate Namibia's mining and petroleum industries, and the Ministry concerns itself with the provision of national exploration and mining databases and competitive exploration and mining policy and regulations. The Ministry of Trade and Industry is responsible for regulating manufacturing activity, which includes mineral beneficiation, the production of cement, and the processing of semi precious stones. The Ministry also promotes resource based development. The larger mining operations in Namibia tended to be funded and operated by domestic and international investors. Numerous local operations were involved in smaller scale industrial mineral production, especially the semi precious gemstone sector. Commodities 
Topic Copper In 2006, Weatherly International plc of the United Kingdom agreed to acquire 56% interest in financially distressed Ongapolo. Weatherly subsequently increased its equity interest in the company to 100%. Ongapolo operated the Combat, the Matchless, and the Ochihase mines. Ongapolo suspended operations at the Sumeb copper smelter in mid-2006, relined the 30,000 metric ton per year, t per year capacity reverberatory furnace, and reopened the smelter in August. A second reverberatory furnace at Sumeb remained inactive, pending renovation. Ongapolo evaluated the development of an underground mine at the Chudi Copper Silver Prospect. Other copper exploration activity in Namibia included that of Copper Resources Corp. of South Africa on the Habe Project, Helio Resource Corp. of Canada on the Honab Prospect, Tech Cominco Limited of Canada on the Cauco Project, and Yale Resources Limited of Canada on the Leicester Prospect. Companies that explored for gold in 2006 included Forces Metals Corp. of Canada on the Ondundu Prospect, Teal Exploration and Mining Inc. of Canada on the Ochikoto Prospect, and Tech Cominco on the Vraidlis Prospect. Yale Resources worked on the Makuru also known as the Ochi Makuru project. As of 2010, the only operational gold mine in Namibia is the Navachab Gold Mine. Now new company called Oryx Gold Namibia was formed and exploring the Ochikoto gold deposit. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Lead and Zinc. Contributing to the decline in Namibian zinc output in 2006 was the nearly three-week fire-related suspension of zinc metal production operations at the Scorpion Zinc facility and a strike at the Roche Pinna mine for higher wages, which lasted for about two weeks and adversely affected lead and zinc concentrate production. Kumba Resources Limited of South Africa proposed to reduce its 89.5% equity interest in Roche Pinna to about 50%. A local investor group, which included P Minerals Namibia Pty, Limited, was expected to acquire Kumba's divested interest. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Cement. Cement had been imported since the closure of the Ojiwarongo factory of African Portland Cement several years ago. Holcomb Namibia Pty Limited which was owned by Holcomb SA of Switzerland 54% and the Avenge Group of South Africa 46% and known as Alpha Cement prior to 2004 imported about 25,000 metric tons per month of cement to meet local demand in 2005 Cheetah Cement Factory which was a joint venture of Whale Rock Cement of Namibia and CP Comento e Participacos SA of Brazil proposed to import cement from Brazil until a 500,000 T per year capacity cement plant near Ochiwarongo was built. In late 2005, Cheetah Cement imported 36,000 metric tons T of cement from Brazil, but most of the cement was lost when Cheetah Cement's warehouse was flooded in early 2006. As a result, planning for the construction of the new cement factory was suspended. Topic: <laughs> Diamond. Diamond remained the most economically significant mineral commodity produced by the mining industry of Namibia. The country produced about 2% of the world's gem quality diamonds, which placed it as the eighth ranked producer of gem diamond in terms of value. Diamonds contributed N2 dollars, $5 billion, $235 million in revenue to the government in 2013. Namdeb Diamond Corp. Pty. Ltd., which was a joint venture between De Beers Centenary AG and the Namibian government, with each having 50%, was the country's leading diamond producer. During 2006, Namdeb, its contractors, and its subsidiaries produced more than 2 million carats. 400 kilograms. The partners also negotiated the Namdeb Sales Agreement in 2006, which created the Namibia Diamond Trading Co. to sort and value the volume of Namdeb's production that would be marketed to the domestic diamond cutting industry. Topic petroleum Offshore petroleum activity included exploration on Block 1711 by the joint venture of ZAO. Sinteneftegas of Russia 70%, Petroleum, Oil and Gas Corp. of South Africa Petrosa 10%, Enegulf Resources Inc. of the United States 10%, and the National Petroleum Corporation of Namibia NAMCOR 7%. 
Onshore exploration included that of the joint venture of Circle Oil Namibia Limited and NAMCOR 10%. In 2006, Matusi Atlantic Energy BV joined the joint venture of BHP Billiton Limited of Australia and Petrosa which held blocks 2813A, 2814B, and 2914. Uranium Namibia, was the sixth-ranked producer of uranium, producing about 8% of the world's uranium in 2006. Due to the opening of the Langer Heinrich uranium LHU mine in 2007, the country in 2009 had raised its share to nearly 10%, but when uranium prices fell after the Fukushima incident production was reduced. In 2012, Namibia produced 7.1% of uranium oxide, behind Kazakhstan, Canada, Australia, and Niger. Rossing Uranium Limited processed about 12 million metric tons of ore in 2006 and produced 3,617 t of U308. Production was exported to the Asia and the Pacific, the European, and the North American markets by Rio Tinto Uranium. Rossing shareholders had no offtake rights. Earlier this decade, Rossing had announced that the Rossing mine would be closed in 2009. By 2005, the increase in the world market price of uranium allowed Rossing to plan to extend operations to 2016. In 2006, positive exploration results and continued favorable uranium market conditions allowed Rossing to propose that the mine's life could be extended to 2021. In late 2006, Paladin Resources Limited commissioned the Langer Heinrich Uranium (LHU) mine and oxide U308 or yellow cake plant. LHU produced 1,170 tons of processed uranium called Yellow Cake in 2009. Exploration activity and evaluation of uranium mineralization in Namibia in 2006 included that of Bannerman Resources Limited of Australia on the Go Anacantes and Swakop River prospects, Extract Resources Limited of Australia on the Husab Uranium Project, Forces Metals on the Valencia Project, Metals Australia Limited of Australia, formerly Australian United Gold Limited, on the Engo. Valley and Mile 72 projects, Rossing Uranium on the SH and SK anomalies on Rossing's mining lease near Arandis, Uranman Inc. on the Trekopia deposit, and Western Australian Metals Limited of Australia on the Marinitsa project. In early 2006, Exemplar Energy Corp. of Canada acquired Namura Minerals Resources Pty. Limited, which held the AUS, the Cape Cross, and the Warmbad Uranium projects. Namura subsequently acquired a reconnaissance license in the Engo Valley area. Topic: Notable mines. Rossing uranium mine in Arandus. Roshpinna mine, zinc and lead mine in Roshpinna. Navachab gold mine near Karabib. Scorpion zinc mine in Roshpinna. Okarusu Mine, Fluorspar Mine near Oatjuwarongo, Langer Heinrich Mine Uranium Mine near Swakopmund, New Mines, Husab Mine, Uranium Mine near Arandis, B2 Gold, Open Pit Gold Mine, located approximately 70 km northwest of Oatjuwarongo and 50 km southwest of Otavi within the province of Oatjosanjupa. Outlook The long tradition of mining in Namibia has been renewed with the reopening of the Sumeb area copper mines and smelter, the opening of the Scorpion Zinc project, the expansion of the Fluorspar and the gold mines, and continued offshore diamond development of the past few years. Extensive exploration in Namibia for base metals, diamond, gold, natural gas, and uranium has been attributed, in part, to the rise in world commodity prices. Potentially new mine development and new value added gemstone cutting and polishing, metal processing, and other mineral-based manufacturing industries could maintain the mineral sector's position as a significant segment of the economy of Namibia for the foreseeable future. With a climate that is among the driest in the world, the lack of water resources will continue to be a constraint on mineral development in Namibia, as will the availability of fuel and electric power. 
New investment to develop the country's natural gas resources and harness the hydroelectric power potential, and the recently proposed 2006 introduction of nuclear-powered electricity generating plants, will influence the future economic growth of Namibia. The expansion of regional transportation infrastructure in northern Namibia could see the port of Walvis Bay become an alternative route for mineral exports from southeastern Angola, Botswana, and Zambia. <laughs> <laughs> 